All right, so right now I want to talk about a cool tool called Nearpod.com. And Nearpod is a tool that allows us to do a few things. Um, it allows us to review skills, um, at, like as a test review, or even to present new information. Um, in my own particular case, I'm getting ready to use this to prepare to write an essay. Um, I want us to be able to practice over the ideas that they generated, as well as a few writing skills that we um, talked about, and I want us to be able to practice those. Um, <clears throat> what I like about it and why I've picked it is because it gives like a, several different modalities of information distribution, and it also gives students an opportunity to interact with the information. Um, in the ISTE standards, there's uh, both 5B which is design authentic learning activities that align with content area standards and use digital tools and resources to maximize active deep learning, as well as 5C, which is explore and apply instructional design principles to create innovative digital learning environments that engage and support learning. So when we get to nearpod.com, we're of course gonna have to create our free account for teachers. If you click there, it'll take you to a screen that should eventually um, oh it just took me right there because I've already logged in but you can log in directly from your uh, Google account which makes it nice um, and then I'm gonna go to create so when I get to create I've got myself an untitled lesson and I'm gonna call this unit review and uh, the next task I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to add a slide. Now, I can add content, or I can add web content, or I can add activity. For myself, I want to first add content. Now, there's a couple of different ways I can add content. The first thing I can do is I can just click here, make a slide, and it is a Nearpod slide that is a lot like a PowerPoint or Google presentation slide. I can also move over here to slideshow. If I click on slideshow, it'll give me the opportunity to upload from several different places. Um, what I want to do is, um, because I'm feeling like just doing it right here, I'm going to add a slide from Nearpod. So what I get when I do so is I have a title so I can call it unit one review and then I'll select the plus button which gives me opportunity to add text or video image or even a gif um, I'm gonna add text and I'm gonna say so how and why was truth manipulated so then I collect or I select pardon save and I now have my first slide built now what's cool about this is that there's a lot of different ways I can do some presentation things and then I can also ask the students to do some things so I can add activities so <clears throat> I like open-ended questions because that's the best, in my opinion. Uh, so my first open-ended question is going to be, uh, was the truth manipulated? In whoop, the tell tale part. and I will hit save. Now one thing I've found is that you have to be careful. You do have a character limit here, and so sometimes if you make your questions too lengthy, you'll run out of room and you have to do some editing there. Then you just hit save, and you can see that you have the slide that we built earlier and the question that we have here. Um, you can then go back and add another slide, some more web content, or another activity. Um, I think the quiz is an interesting one. Uh, poll, if you saw 
the poll everywhere video I did earlier that could be an interesting thing that you could add in the collaborate feature is one that's new and I don't have a lot of information on um, but it gives students the opportunity to collaborate and then oh, as well as The fill in the blanks feature, which seems to be a premium feature, but uh, I've been activated for 30 days, so it doesn't show that it's premium. But there are a lot of things that you can do here in order to provide students with information, to quiz their information, to have them interact with the information. Uh, this is a basically a, a PowerPoint presentation. It also has some interactivity with the kids. Um, allows you to get some feedback on what they know, what they're learning. And I think it's a really great tool for a lot of different ways that we can work. So that's nearpod.com, and I think it has a lot of value in the classroom.